According to the examiner's report, just over 50% of A-level students got this question correct in the exam. So this question about dynamics might seem more straightforward than it really is. If you want to give this a shot yourself, pause the video here. Otherwise, I'm going to take you through this multiple choice question now. Immediately after takeoff from the surface of the Earth, a rocket of mass 12,000 kilograms accelerates vertically upwards at 1.4 meters per second squared. What is the thrust produced by the rocket's motor? So we're given a few options, and we know the mass of the rocket and its acceleration. Many students might be tempted to simply plug these numbers straight into Newton's second law, F equals ma. And they're gonna get from this 16,800 Newtons. Even though this rounds to option A, that's an incorrect answer. And that's because we've made a common error. We forgot that the force F in F equals ma is the resultant force of the rocket and not just the thrust. There is thrust from the motor acting upwards, but acting in the opposite direction we have weight of the rocket. So the resultant force of the rocket must be thrust minus the weight. But we also know that the weight of an object is equal to its mass times gravitational acceleration, which is 9.81 meters per second squared. We've worked out the resultant force to be 16,800 newtons, and the weight to be 117,720 newtons. So the thrust of the motor must be 134,520 newtons, which rounds to 1.3 times 10 to the 5 newtons. What I really like about this question is that it reminds us that the force in Newton's second law is the resultant force of a system. And that's why some students prefer writing the second law as the vector sum of all the forces on the system. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more physics.